Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in a video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to be talking about the Battle of Armentier, located in Armentier, France, and involving elements of the United Kingdom, India, and the German Empire on October 13th through November 2nd, 1914. The Battle of Armentier was part of a larger Romy battle that began in the Lily Fortress Zone. The Germans had launched an airplane at 10 a.m. on October 9th and dropped two bombs on the Lilly General Post Office. By the afternoon, the Germans had issued orders that all men from the ages of 18 to 48 to go to the Bethune Gate with instructions to leave Lily and not return. Many men did just that. The Germans waited, and then on October 11th at 9 a.m., the German artillery opened fire at the Lily Fortress and continued until the garrison at Lily surrendered on October 12th. In response to this attack, British Lieutenant General William Pulteney, commander of the British Third Corps, arrived by rail at St. Omer and advanced to the left flank of the Second Corps. On October 12th, the 4th and 6th Division of the 3rd Corps was ordered to advance from St. Omer to the River Lys. On the morning of October 13th, these elements of the 3rd Corps found the Germans defending a small stream known as the Metternbeck. They are formed up on a strong position on a ridge behind the line. Initially, the 3rd Corps was not going to move forward without assistance. However, the denial of the request for assistance from the French Cavalry Corps left them with no choice but to launch a frontal assault on those German lines by themselves. By the end of the day, the 3rd Corps had lost 708 men, but they had pushed the defenders off the hill. British command, meanwhile, continued to believe that the Germans were only in the area in small amounts and ordered the 3rd Corps to continue forward, which they did for six more days. By the end of the sixth day, the German 6th Army was sitting across the lines facing the 3rd Corps, where they sat for two days watching each other. On October 15th, the 3rd Corps moved to capture Armentiers, repair the bridges, and advance towards Lille. They captured the town on October 17th and continued forward until October 19th. There, they were attacked continuously, although not successfully by German forces. They maintained Armentier throughout the fighting, although they did lose some ground. They suffered their biggest attack on October 29th, which would be the opening salvo of the Battle of Gelluvelt. The Battle of Armentier officially ended on November 2nd and merged into several of the other bigger battles that were raging across the front. The British suffered approximately 5,780 men killed, wounded, and missing, while the Germans themselves suffered around 11,300 men killed, wounded, or missing. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.